lovely shiny things. <laughs> oh, lovely shiny things. Hello, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I hope you're decent. Oh, no. How's it going, Rashi Poos? <sighs> Don't you ever call me that. Oh, sorry, Rashi Poos. Uh, my captain. And look what I found it is this. Oh. It's what those disgustingly hygienic humans call a map yeah. of the world. <laughs> You, you see, the blobby bits are the land, and the, the bluey bits, they are the seas. <gasps> oh. Oh, there's an awful lot of water, isn't there? Well, well, well yes. Uh, now, I have been studying it quite closely for the last five days. Look, here is Brazil, uh, where they make the bras. <laughs> here is Shetland, where they make the little ponies. <laughs> and here is China, where they make the plates. And this one is called Kathmandu. When we sail for Rat Island, we must go nowhere near this one. Uh, very dangerous. Uh, but I cannot seem to find Rat Island anywhere on the map. Ah, yes. Mm, you see, that's because... Uh... Because it simply does not exist. How did you... Oh, well, the rat's out of the bag now, I suppose. <sighs> it's time I told you the truth. You... Rat Island's location is top secret. For all species except rats, it does not exist. Oh, yes, yes, it was <laughs> You're absolutely correct. Well <laughs> done, that rat. Uh, that yes. is why I could not find it on the map. No, yeah. mm. well, you see, we rats don't want to be sharing Rat Island with anyone else, now do we? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, no. the humans will want to clean it up. Oh. The dogs will want to dig it up. And <laughs> yes, and the pink elephants. They, they would be flying all over, knocking the clouds out of the sky, and stealing everyone's milkshakes. Yes. Oh, no. Ah. It's Pepper and Pepper Sneeze. And sneeze yes. They have probably brought you something stupid again Lovely. from the outside world. Yes. Oh, let's go and see then, shall we? Well, oh, I will announce you first, my captain. <laughs> Ladies and gentle rats, please welcome our esteemed captain and leader of all rodents, yes, the one yes, you yes, know. Oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 oh, yes, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, let me see. Right. Mm -hmm. Ah, what have you got for me then, eh? I think you'll like it, Rash. Yep, it's a remote control. Oh, excellent. One can never have too many televisual remote controls, you know. Pa! You insulted Captain Rash with your remote controls. They should be banished from the ship for good this time. Oh, shut up, you oh. serial snot muncher. This could be the most important remote control device in the world. Eh? You see, there are some remote controls that the humans wish we never got our paws on. What do you mean? Yeah, tell us, Rash. Robbie Roberts woke up. He was still a little delicate after his operation, but it was nice to be back home in his own bed. His mother came in with a tray of food and was delighted to see her top soldier sitting up recovering well. After a few more days, Robbie was feeling tip-top. I didn't mind staying off school for another day or two. Robbie's parents said they'd some great news. Robbie was going to have a brand new sister. Oh, hey, how nice that is. <laughs> and he will be able to play with her dolls without anyone being Robbie suspicious. Robbie was delighted. It would be great to have a sister. And he asked his parents, when was she due? He was a little confused to hear she was going to arrive the very next day. Perhaps she was a doll. Yes, Pepper, that's what Robbie thought, and he got very excited at the prospect. He hardly slept that night. Wow! A new sister, he thought. It was going to be great. The next day, when his father's car pulled up, Robbie peered out the window, anxious to get first glimpse of his new sister. He was slightly confused, though, when his father lifted a large wooden crate out of the boot and carried it into the garage. 
Robbie went down to investigate and couldn't believe his eyes when out of the crate walked a nine-year-old girl. What? His father then opened a panel on the back of the girl's head and pressed a button. Robbie's new sister was an android. <gasps> An android. Wait, no, what? A robot! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> but that is ridiculous. Uh, how could somebody's sister be a robot? I mean, that is crazy. Well, that's what Robbie thought. He asked his parents what was going on, but they acted as though there was nothing unusual about having a robot sister. Huh? Robbie's father said she was a, a top of the range model. Oh. And they seemed overjoyed with the new family member. That night, Robbie lay awake wondering what on earth was going on and why his parents didn't think it was in any way unusual to have a robot daughter. Over the next few days, Robbie was amazed at how his robot sister fitted in. She really was an amazing machine. She looked and acted just like a real nine-year-old girl. It made Robbie wonder how many other robots were there wandering around. The next week, Robbie was back at school, but there was something not quite right. He was absolutely convinced that all his classmates were robots. Oh. And perhaps it is time for one of my theories. Oh, no. Uh, yes. What Robbie does not know or realize oh, is that he has simply had an allergic reaction to meatballs. Hmm. He must at once go to Venezuela and visit Dr. Liebstrom, uh, the meatball allergy specialist. Then he will be right as roses. <laughs> <sighs> Any other theories, Tortilla? Well, it's either that or the underwater people uh... are up to something again. <sighs> anyway, Robbie returned home quite spooked that evening. He started to get a little creeped out by his robot sister, especially when she talked as if she'd always been part of the family. Robbie went to bed that night, but of course he couldn't sleep. What was he to do? He decided he needed to talk to his parents. Mm -hmm. ah, I remember the old parent-son chat when good old dad would say, Get out of your house and never come back. You have eaten all the bacon rinds, you sniveling toad. Ah, happy days. Thank you, my captain. I was getting far too sentimental for my own good. <laughs> Robbie approached his parents' bedroom. He knew they would have an answer to all his questions. There was a strange noise coming from the room. <gasps> Robbie peeked through a crack in the door and was shocked to see his mother with a soldering iron working on a circuit board that was wired into father's head. It was then it struck him. His parents were robots, too! So, his parents were robots? His sister was a robot? And all his classmates, too? Yes. And it didn't take long for Robbie to come to the conclusion that he was the only human left in a robot world. He ran back to his room and began to pack a suitcase. Mm. He had to get away and try and find where his real parents were. Yes. He figured that the switch must have been made whilst he was out cold during his operation. How come he hadn't been switched with a Robbie robot? That he didn't know the answer to. But he wasn't going to wait around to find out. Just then, his bedroom door swung open. Robbie's robot family stood in front of him. He told him to keep away and demand to know where his real parents were. Ooh, this seemed to upset the mother robot, who handed Robbie a family photo album, oh. explaining that it might help him understand. Oh. Oh. Hmm? Yeah, were there any of those embarrassing photos of when you were a baby? Oh. All because your mother really wanted a baby girl oh. and insisted on dressing you in a pink bonnet and matching... No! Well... 
Me neither, of course. There was never a... <sighs> As Robbie leafed through the family album, he couldn't understand why he was the same age in every photo. Hmm? He wondered where his baby photos were. Robbie's robot father opened the album on the first page, and there was Robbie stepping out of a crate, just like the one his new sister had arrived in. What's going on? Robbie shouted. I'm not a robot! Before he could run out of the room, his mother pulled out a remote control, which froze Robbie in his tracks. So, he was a robot after all? Or maybe just... A very still boy. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Robbie was a robot all along. And when he went in for his operation to remove a computer virus that lots of young robots were catching at the time, the bioengineer explained that there may be some side effects with the robot's memory chips. Robbie's father and mother stood looking at their robot son and decided that they'd go to Robots R Us in the morning and trade this one in for scrap. <laughs> That is an incredible story, my captain. Was the world is full of robots who didn't know they were robots. I am sure glad I am not a robot. Are you sure you're not a robot? Hey, shut it, you, you stinky sneeze, you. Yeah, you could be a robot. You just don't know it. Yes, you could be. <laughs> Stop it, I am no robot. Uh, no stupid remote control would have power over me. Uh, I am Tortilla del Rodente. I am too clever for that. Oh, oh, hey, everybody, look what's on. When toilets won't flush three, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I am Tortilla del Rodente. I am too clever for that. Ah. Look, everybody. It's my favorite. When toilets won't flush three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really is quite pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> shh, shh, shh. I am Tortilla del Rodente. I am too clever for that. <gasps> hey, everybody, look what's on! When toilets won't flush three! <laughs> I am Tortilla del Rodente. I am... It's the wars button. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Let me try fast forward. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,